Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Dan Does Tech Stuff. Today I will be showing you how to add more storage to your PlayStation 5. Uh, this is the PlayStation 5 Slim, but the same same ideas uh, will work for the PlayStation 5 OG as well. So as you know, the PlayStation 5 only has um, one terabyte of hard drive space and of that one terabyte only 825 gigabytes is usable the rest is for like the storage operating system and then all the other save files and things like that so not much space so um today i'm going to be adding four terabytes to this unit i bought this myself this is the samson four terabyte 990 pro with heat sink so all playstation 5 ssds um, that are to be installed need to be PCIe 4.0 NVMe M.2 SSD um, with the heat sink um, and speed wise this has got 7450 megabits per second okay so I'm gonna just kind of show you um, what that looks like um, to kind of give you an idea of what kind of space I'm working with right now uh, let's go ahead and take a look at my PlayStation 5 so I don't have a lot of space. I've uh, downloaded a few games. You can see I've got Tekken 5 or sorry Tekken 8. That's like 114 gigabytes all to itself. Dreams. I got some VR games. Astro Bot's like 45 gigabytes. Last of Us Part 2. I think that was like over 100 gigabytes. You can see um, all these games now just have so much gigabit, uh, gigabytes they take up. So it's almost like you have to upgrade or add storage to it. So to see how much storage you have left, you go to your settings there, go your storage option, and then you can see I've got of my 848 gigabytes available, only 18.86 is free. So definitely in need of adding some space, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Now, word of the wise, anytime you kind of tinker with your system, uh, you do run the risk of it breaking or damaging the system. So, you know, all of this is just for showing you how I do it. Now, if you decide to do it on your own, you know, more power to you. All right. So first, I'm going to go ahead and power off my PlayStation 5. So let's go ahead and power that off. And I'm going to disconnect the power. Anytime you're like dealing with like electronics or adding things, you, you definitely want to disconnect the power if you can. Okay. All right. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, disconnect the power. Disconnect the HDMI off of that. Okay. So when you open up these panels, the hard drive where you or the space where you're going to add the hard drive is going to be opposite of the disk drive so i'm going to take that and then i'm going to turn it around just like so all right so here's my disk drive this is the ps5 slim so you want to hold over here you want to pull this panel up towards you and then you're going to bring it forward okay you're going to hear some clicks and then you're going to pull that forward and there you go okay pretty easy all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and open up my SSD panel here on the PlayStation 5 slim here you'll just need a Phillips like a kind of a smaller Phillips screwdriver so let's go ahead and open that up okay oh, that's a long pretty long screw there all right open up the enclosure there's a small screw right here and that's going to help keep your SSD in place these are pretty uh, for this kind of like up, upgrade it's pretty simple all right let's go ahead and open up the Four terabyte SSD here. Where's my trusty X-Acto knife? Okay. So I'm gonna open that guy up here. All 
Alright. Alright, what's inside one of these drives? You can see what's inside. Nothing there. You just get a, a pamphlet, some information about it, and oop, there's there's our guy there. Okay. Set that aside. All right. So goes right into that panel there. Get this screw in here. Push that in all the way. Make sure you have a solid connection. All right, once you feel like it's there, go ahead and put that screw back in place. Pretty straightforward. All right. Put the panel back on to cover it up. The screw back in. Now I know the panels used to kind of freak me out when I opened them. I always felt like I was going to break the unit, but you can't really break it. These are just, they're made <laughs> pretty durable. So you're just going to line up some of these connectors back and then. Okay, and there you go. There you go. Snaps back in place. Let's go ahead and power back on the PlayStation 5. Let's get your let's get the connectors back in place. Put the HDMI connector in. Put the power back in. And it's gonna ask you to Format the drive that you that you just stuck in. So that's going to be the last part here, and then we'll see if we successfully added storage to our PlayStation 5. Okay, so let's go ahead and power on the PlayStation 5. All right. Let's take a look at our screen here. Uh, powers back on So that was that was pretty simple right that wasn't too bad all right, so here's our PlayStation logo It's gonna initialize the drive. So let's take a look See it says To use your m.2 SSD you'll need to format it so You want to say format it right? Okay, so format. It's going to be really fast. And these things are super quick. Um, I'll show you a quick little file transfer for one of the games. Okay, so and it shows you like the read speed here. Even though it's advertised at 7450, anything over 6000 megabits per second is super fast has been formatted all good oh darn it I turned it off too quick last time okay power back up all right so all is good so far I just gotta it's just updating itself again okay here it is boom and let's go ahead and take a look at our storage I'm gonna go back to the settings go over to storage and then you'll see right there I now have an m.2 SSD I've got four terabytes on there okay and then I'm um, let's go ahead and transfer a game over um, Let's find one and see how, how long it takes to transfer. Let's see. Um, let's do like The Last of Us Part Part 1. 68.78 gigabytes. 
So I'll go ahead and click that one. We're going to move it and it's going to go from the console storage, which is that uh, 825 that we have there. And it's going to move over to M.2 SSD. So I've selected that and let's go. Let's see how quickly that will take to move. I was going to say 11 minutes, no way. So 20 seconds to move like an over 60 gigabyte file. It's unheard of. It's pretty crazy. So what I'll end up doing is I'll probably end up moving a lot of the console storage onto the SSD. So that way I can free up a lot of that console storage. And then just uh, make sure it's there. We're going to go back, check out the M.2 storage, see what games are there. And there it is, The Last of Us Part 1. All right, folks. Well, if you found that video um, valuable, you found some, something new or learned something new, uh, feel free to put a like on that, on that video, comment on the video. If you've upgraded your PlayStation 5 and you really like the way uh, it's working out for you, please share that in the comments below. Also, uh, if it's your first time here, um, please go ahead and hit that like button so that way more people are exposed to the content. Uh, and if you're a new first time, you know, checking out the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button for more content that I post helps the channel grow. With that said, um, hopefully you're taking care of yourself and each other. Um, turn on the notification bell so that way you know when I upload my new videos. With that said, take care of yourself and each other and bye for now.